Hello and welcome. Silray is here with a build showcase. Build on your screen right there. Pause the video if you wish to copy the exact. Main components also listed in the description below. Kodiak 5. There is something about these 100 ton brawlers I have mentioned before that I absolutely love. And also note that these are my first and second games in Kodiak 5 in this particular video you're watching. So if you have the basic and elite pilot skills, this particular build will obviously work better for you. Target and acquired. no modules were in use whatsoever. So if you have the modules to go with this build, New obviously going to acquired. see a nice performance increase out of that as well. Now this is not a position I typically like to go into at all. But since my team goes here and I am in a brawler setup, I am here as well. Also know that this, if this was an inner spear mech, uh, I would be running around with a standard engine on a brawler like this. However, it is a clan mech. That means I am running around with a clan XL engine, absolutely. Just poking around, okay, there is a... Uh, long-range missile mech out there and such. Because clan XL engines are more survivable than inner spear XL engines. You have to lose either uh, one... Well, you have to lose two side torsos or the center torso to uh, die to an engine explosion with a clan XL. Inner spear, you just lose one side torso and you're gone. So, that is why I'm running around with a Clan XL in Brawler setups. Now, poking around, Target waiting acquired. for my time, because with a setup like this, and in positioning like this, I do not want to rush in there, like, at all. Because if I do, I'm gonna get Target shot at from acquired. all sides, going to get shredded and, well, killed. 100 ton max, but it's still not impervious to weapon fire. It will die if you uh, position it wrong, and that is even more true to brawlers. So, I am biding my time, I am waiting for the enemy team to get impatient to do something silly, because my team is also right next to me. And, as you can see, the enemy team, if you are looking at the minimap at all, have a sort of an, um, sort of a firing angle on us. But when my teammates start going in and I'm in a brawler, then absolutely have to go in finally. Because that's just how it works. If you don't go in when your teammates do, then you're probably going to lose the game. Rifleman who has succeeded in the XL engine check is kind of rare actually, kind of uh, interesting. But also there is the flanking move coming in. So let's deal with the flanking move. Um, when you are in a situation like this, always, always deal with one of the pushes at a time. Because otherwise you're fighting all of the enemies at once. If they are doing a move like this, where if... Because the other side didn't now push to our right flank, and there was just these guys coming in over this, you know, ridge line one by one, they are going to get shredded one by one. And this is also what this mech is extremely good at. Once the, the sort of a long range trading has kind of ended, this mech is really, really good at finishing off the things which have, you know, fought in that long range engagement, which, ha which have kind of been trading around and so forth. Because Six small pulse lasers absolutely, absolutely shred off weakened max. They absolutely do that. They do it extremely well and extremely consistently. And so using them for that is obviously a good, good idea. When you come in like that, when you with 100 tons of armor, and you are fighting off weekend max. It doesn't matter if it's multiple weekend max. You can usually come out on top, and that allows you to uh, finish off games, which might 
otherwise not be in your favor. Just have to be patient with the brawler. And this game is pretty much done, so just waiting it... Well, waiting for it to end to move on to the next one. Moving on from the hot tourmaline desert over to the Alpine Peaks, a very cool map, which definitely helps out when you are running the second game ever in a Mac, because, you know, it helps with the heating issues you have in uh, brawlers like this usually. Now, Alpine Peaks can be a massive, massive pain for brawlers. If you have a clever enemy team who simply takes one high ground spot and sticks to it, there is often no way whatsoever you can actually close the distance to them. Because they can take a location and so forth, and especially when it comes to a game mode like this, which is skirmish, where only thing that matters is kills. So you take the strongest position on the map, you hold it, and you basically auto-win against brawlers. Unless it's very, very well-coordinated brawlers, which you typically do not get in pubby matches. Of course, of course, um, you will have games such as the one you are going to be witnessing here, where the team does not camp one of the uh, high ground somewhere in the distance, uh, with open ground around and so on. So you get to actually close in and you get to uh, do some work, which is exactly what you need to do in a brawler to actually be beneficial for your team. Of course, with a 100-ton mech and being Kodiak, everybody is shooting at you anyway. So all you have to do usually is to expose yourself with, at the same time as teammates do, and things will shoot at you instead of your teammates. So that might help you win long-range firefights, even on a brawler Kodiak. And well, Executioner going in. Absolutely go in with the Executioner, because if he's doing that, I'll absolutely help him out. Hello there. Would you like some large pulse lasers? And well, I have more guns here. Uh, if I can get Target close enough. Acquired. And about us, so uh, let's use those small pulses. And that is the nice part about well, weapons acquired. in the arms. You can actually shoot up, which is, you know, frankly awesome. So many bells which uh, forego the uh, weapons in the arms and suddenly runs into massive issues when somebody is above or below you and so on. And there is a kind of a kill steal, but hey, it's dead now, so don't have to worry about it doing anything anymore. The brawler doing its job of shredding the enemies, and I'm gonna go around this corner because my team well, do not have a. Uh, do not have, you know, uh, jump jets, and my team is going uh, over the other uh, bat. Oh, hello. Well, if you Target just want to hang around there, absolutely. And hello, King Crab. And that is a lot of enemies suddenly. But hey, let's shoot at the most dangerous thing, the King Crab, which is now completely open in the center torso. So somebody finishes that off pretty quickly, usually. And go around a little bit. Do not poke from the same location multiple times. And hello there, Warhawk. Can I scare you away? And there is an Atlas. Hello, Atlas. Would you like to brawl me? Let's see who is the better brawler here. I have support, though. Uh, you don't. You kind of come out of position really, really badly here. And that means you're kind of dead. As that was a very interesting move. I uh, hoped for a nice, nice follow-up there. And, well, Kodiak, three with ghost rifles. Lots of things to my side, that's fine. Lots of things pushing in on me, too. And this is 
me shedding armor as much as possible as well. If I poke out first, as you can tell, most people are going to... Or most people, most things are going to shoot at me because I am the scary Kodiak, right? And so, no, folks are pushing in a whole lot. Go in, go in, go in. Uh, don't, don't just hang around, Timberwolf. The executioner is going in there. So let's go finish this game. We have massive kill lead. Let's absolutely go finish this game. And uh, something a little ran into my lasers. That's fine. Phoenix Hawk. And, and so on. Let's, hello. And obviously instantly shoot at the Kodiak. Shoot at the Kodiak. That, that's fine. Come ahead and shoot at me, huh? And there you have it. Brawler doing its work Target on acquired. this particular map. Thank you very, very much for watching. Try this build out. It's hilarious fun. Target destroyed.